Hey, Francis, Master Angelo. It all starts with the magic sketchbook. This is a book that I usually just take with me. And even if I'm not sketching, you know, I show it off. It's kind of a little portfolio, but it's a travel log too, because in this book, I can go back to it, you know, like looking through an old photo album and go, oh yeah, I remember that. But when you remember this, you can make paintings out of it. Plus, you can go into that experience. This is Camano Island. And I was up there for several months last year working on a big commission. It was called Route 66. You've heard of that one. Well, anyway, I did a whole bunch of stuff for this guy who lived in Camano Island. Forget about Route 66. That's later. <laughs> I just loved his backyard. You'd go off this cliff there and voila. Now, I also have uh, another a set from Camano. I have several sets of uh, different genres. I have a whole thing on steamboats you're going to enjoy. But anyway, uh, this is uh, one, of the, one of my favorites. It's just a small oil sketch. And this is another uh, pencil on canvas. And I discovered a really nice kind of uh, old style screen effect when I draw on canvas. Because you have this uh, dark and light texture, uniform, and it looks kind of um, like a print. So I started uh, working a lot with pencil and canvas, as you can see. And we'll go into some of that also. And here's one of these big monsters I've been working on. This thing's driving me crazy. But anyway, that's Camano Island, too. And what I do is um, work with several different mediums. Now, I got kind of um, tired of brushes and maintaining brushes and mediums. So I'll go into a little bit of, um, oh, um, instruments where you don't have to use a lot of mediums, especially these days. You don't want to use a lot of paper towels and all that kind of stuff. And I have really cool techniques to uh, eliminate a lot of that. And, and I paint with sticks and some sculpting tools and all that. And that's really, really fun because there's no mess. <laughs> no, really, I got tired of that stuff. Uh, brushes, I still have them and I still work with them when I work with glass. Now, I do a lot of work on glass. This is a brushwork. Uh, this is brushwork on glass. It's a mirror there. You have to, on, on glass, I have to use brushes. I can use um, whatever. Uh, these are, these abstracts are um, on glass uh, with sticks. And these are too. And there's a really big one. Oh, there's the big one down there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. We'll go into all of that too. So. Anyway, stay tuned, and I'm going to have uh, some instructional things. You know, I'll have to set them up. Maybe like Bob Ross or something. I learned a lot from that guy. And you know what the most important thing I learned from that guy was? This is your world. Now, if you can watch TV, and it's Beirut or South America or Washington, D.C., you know, it's all in your head. Well, so is art, but it's yours. That's what I tell kids when I teach them. This is yours. That infrastructure in those computers is great, but the genius is already there, pal. You can do it by yourself with a pencil and a piece of paper. That's for starters. Particle wave, E equals MC squared. 